Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so happy you found me. I have a large Dollar Tree haul for you today. Now this haul consists of several items throughout the store. It's very well mixed. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. I'm going to start in the front of the store with some of the items I found up front. Uh, I only picked up a couple summer items. And I thought these were really cute. I had not seen them previously. And they are these really cute little gift boxes. Now, uh, this size, you get these two for $1.25. And they had a couple different ones to choose from. They also had one that had the same prints that I'm going to show you that was a little bit larger. So if you wanted to stack three of those together to do a gift, you can. I think these are the perfect size to maybe give someone some treats, or if they have a birthday during the summertime, these are so bright and cheery. So this first set has the flamingo and all of those tropical leaves. And then this one I thought was really pretty too. It has sun hat and a bag, beach balls, those types of things. And this is how they come packaged. So you can see the smaller one is inside. And it does say right there that it is a two-piece set. So I thought that was really cute. And then the last one that I found is this one. It has watermelons. Absolutely gorgeous. I thought they were so cute. Even if you just open them up and stack them for a decor piece, that's great. But perfect little gift boxes. Maybe if you're going to go visit someone, you could use them to uh, wrap a hostess gift or something. I thought they were so cute. And then I did pick up a few more patriotic items. My store finally put out some signs. I've been waiting all this time for them to get some signs. They finally did, so I did pick up a few. Uh, this first one says, I love the USA. I absolutely love that. They had quite a few of these to choose from. I did have to go through and find one that was in good shape. Um, a lot of these had scratches on them. And then I also found this one that I liked. It says America. I like that. It's hard to find ones that just say like America. You, know, you can use that uh, Memorial Day, 4th of July, any of those. Now, I was super happy that I finally found these and I didn't pick them all up. I'm trying to be better. I only picked up two and they are the gnomes. So I picked up the two that were my favorite. This one says stars and stripes and I really like that he's holding a heart there. But I think he is just absolutely adorable. And then the other gnome sign that I picked up, this says America the Beautiful and he's holding a star, but I love his... Uh, big top hat there. So I thought they were really cute. They did have all four of them, but I controlled myself. I only bought two. But I think they're really cute. They did a nice job on these. So that was a good find. Let's see. Uh, I did find just one of these. That was kind of funny because I guess they had someone new working for them. Um, I found one of these packages of picks. Now, the reason why I say they had someone new is because all of these, except for this one, had been opened and all of the picks were separated and so they marked each of them 25 cents. <laughs> but this was a full pack that I found. It has red, white, and blue berries in there. I thought that was really cool, so I bought that. Something new that I haven't seen before. And then I picked this up. It is a tassel garland. So it has tassels and then the American flag. And that is why I bought it is because I liked those paper American flags. So you can either use it as garland or take it apart like I'm going to. So you can kind of see the tassels there in the back. And this is nine feet long. 
I might see it. Now these I haven't seen in the past either. And I was really kind of happy that I saw them. These are called multifunctional head and neck wear. And that kind of shows you what the pattern is. Now this one is nice and bright, your traditional red, white, and blue. And then this one, this one reminds me of uh, Back the Blue. It has more of that kind of washed out all blue. And then this one is the flag. That has again more of your traditional colors. I thought this is really cool, especially uh, if you're going to go to um, Fourth of July parade or something, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of people. You can mask up and still be very patriotic. So I thought those were really cool. I thought, you know, you might even be able to use the fabric as a craft. So that's why I picked up one of each of the ones I could find. I think, yep, that was all of the 4th of July stuff. Um, over in the craft section, I did find a few items that they got in for 4th of July or patriotic. And I have not seen them before, so I'm going to share those with you. And the first one is this one. And it is USA. Now this one does not light up, but it is double. So if you wanted to, you could put uh, some lights back there to light it up. But I thought that was really cool. That's the first time I've seen something like that. So I picked it up. I probably won't get to it this year because it's so late, but next year. And then I found this uh, wood cutout of the American flag. I really like that too. And this is a pretty good size. And they do kind of have everything lined out there for you. So if you wanted to paint it yourself, it makes it very easy. And I did pick up two of those because you can use this pretty much on anything. And then the last thing that I found like that is this. They had the truck, the little wood truck with the flag in the back. And they do come on a jute cord. But I thought those were really cute. First time I've seen those at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so that was all the patriotic stuff that I found throughout the store. So I wanted to share with you some really beautiful garden items that I found. Um, I'm going to start in kind of the florals and greenery. Now, if you recently saw uh, my last wreath that I did, which was a flamingo wreath, I will link that at the end. I used one of these absolutely gorgeous hibiscus garlands. And let's see, these are four feet in length. You get six blooms on there and several bits of greenery, which I really like. And now they had two colors to choose from that gorgeous pink and this really pretty kind of yellow orange. Absolutely gorgeous. I did pick up two of each color, so I did already use one of my pink. But I thought those were absolutely gorgeous and the first time I've ever seen them in Dollar Tree. Nice find. Now another uh, item that I found, which this is the first time I've seen at Dollar Tree, is some more new greenery. And these are actual garlands. I found a couple different kinds. Let's see. Five and a half feet. It's just called a green garland. And they come in a loop like that. And I found these hanging on the strips, but I really liked that kind of leaf. Very kind of hangy and wispy. So I grabbed one of those. And then I also found this one. A little bit more kind of fern looking. I did grab two of this one. And then the last one I found is this one, which actually looks like a fern. But it always makes me so happy when I can find new greenery at Dollar Tree. Now, I also found something brand new that I've never seen before, and I was quite surprised to find it at Dollar Tree. And they are these beautiful olive branches. Now, this is what a single one looks like. It looks like you get about four olives on there and about three main stems. So 
But I did pick up, let's see, about six because there's not a whole lot. And, you know, this is one of those things that I may never see again at Dollar Tree. But it is definitely called, let's see, Olive or Berry Branch by Floral Garden. So these are really cool. I picked them up now. Um, this is something that I would most likely use in fall. But again, when you see it at Dollar Tree, you got to pick it up. You may not see it again. Now, another thing that they got back in, which I was really happy to see because I've used pretty much all of the ones that I bought, are these greenery. And they're the really long stemmed. But this one is my favorite with these nice big leaves because these leaves can mock a lot of other plants. I use them as lemon leaves, hydrangea leaves, all of those types of things. They work out really well. They're well made. So I found a few more in my store. They restock, so I grabbed some more of those. And then I was really surprised. I did find some of the new farmhouse florals that are coming out. They were already pretty well picked over, so I don't know how much they got, but I was able to pick up just a couple. And yes, it's called a farmhouse floral pick. So I found this really pretty light kind of green and white. Very pretty. A couple different kinds of blooms, a little bit of greenery. So I did find one of those. And then this one is just gorgeous. I really love that blue. Very soft. Again, with a little bolt of white, some greenery. I was able to find two of those. I thought how sweet to make a uh, just a really simple kind of uh, table decor with these beautiful colors in it. Nice and soft, beautiful for fall this year. Now I did find some really gorgeous summer flowers um, and I want to share those with you. This one I have actually been looking for and I was really happy that I finally found it. And this is called a poppy, but look at that color. I mean, it, it's just so striking. I did pick up two stems of that. Now they did have several different colors of the poppy to choose from. But I really love that white with just that soft bit of pink around the edge and then that nice dark center. Absolutely gorgeous. So I did pick up a couple stems of those as well. So that was it for all of the greenery and florals that I picked up on this trip. I did pick up a couple other items over in the garden section, so I'll share those with you as well. This first one is a plant hanger. And they've carried these uh, for several years now, and these are really great for DIYs. Uh, they have all the chain, they have the main hook, and they also have the other hooks on the ends to hook to whatever pot or plant you're going to hang. So I did grab one of those. And then my store finally got in these. I've seen a lot of people haul them. They finally showed up, and they are called the Flame Glow Solar Light. Now, I only picked up two of these because I wanted to do like a table decor for outside on my tables and put these inside so I have some soft light outside in the evening when I want to go sit outside and maybe have a glass of wine and look at the stars. So uh, I thought these would be perfect, not too bright, but get enough light that I can see what the heck I'm doing. So I thought that was a nice find. And then they've had these for a long time, and it is just the plastic garden dish that you can pick up. Uh, they kind of have it over in the succulent section. That's how they have it pictured there. But I kind of had a craft, uh, craft project in mind with this, so we'll see if it works out. I grabbed one. So that was all the garden items that I picked up. Oh, nope, I lied. I thought these were really cute. I have not seen them before. They are these little potted plants. And they had several different colors to choose from. I didn't buy them all. I did. I, I bought three, one of each of the colors that I really like. So this blue one I thought was so pretty. Perfect little size for tiered trays. And they had this one, which I thought was just gorgeous. Very much gives me that fall vibe. 
And then this one I like because it's green and neutral. But they're very cute. They come in a really pretty um, cement looking pot there. And they had several different colors to choose from. I thought those were really nice. A nice find, something different that I haven't seen at Dollar Tree before. Now I have to say, I did completely score over in the beauty section. So I'm going to go there next. I couldn't believe that I found these. And I looked them up. <laughs> this first one is Silky Eyeshadow Palette. It is called Rebel. It is by Italian Deluxe. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has so many beautiful colors in it. And I looked this up online, and this normally retails for $7.99 and up. So it is a great buy for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Let me open it up here for you. You get a little mirror up here. Let me take the plastic off. That's nice. It's taped down. Comes with a nice little brush. But look at how beautiful all those colors are. What a great find. And they had a stack of them. So I was super happy to find that. Like I said, I looked it up online and it retails starting at $7.99 and up. So that was a great find. And then the next one, <laughs> this is called Me Makeover Essentials. I've seen a couple other people haul this one, but it finally made it to my store. I was at that point where I was like, oh, it's not going to show up. I'm not going to see it, but it showed up. <laughs> And I was, you know, it's one of those things, again, I looked this up and that is like $15 or something online. So all of these uh, big makeup things that I'm going to show you today are well worth $1.25. Let me open this guy up so you can get a good look at the case. Very well packaged. This is a contour kit. Just like that. Look at how beautiful that is. What a gorgeous gift that would make. Especially if you have someone in the family who really loves makeup. But this is really nice. And then all the different colors to contour. So it comes with this little insert. And it does have a brush. So what a great deal. I think that is so beautiful for $1.25. Oh my. Great deal. It comes with a little bit of information. Let's see. Oh, it does give you some instructions on how to use the product, which is great. Now, I have a niece that absolutely loves to play with makeup. She loves to try anything new. Okay, let me show you the next one. Now, this one is perfect <clears throat> for your purse. It's by the same company that I just showed you. It's just a little box. Now, this is kind of like their everything in one to go box. So, it's perfect to keep in your purse in case you need to kind of touch up your makeup or maybe you're traveling and you don't really want to take everything you own <laughs> for your face. So this is kind of nice. Um, it gives you a little bit of everything in this little case. It's really nice. If I can get it open. <laughs> I don't know why they make it so difficult to get into these things. Come on. I have to say, they package everything very, very nicely. Boxed, wrapped in plastic, 
box wrapped in plastic. So that's what it looks like. Oops. Figure it out. Okay. So you open it up and you've got two mirrors. Then you unfold one side and you've got your foundation and your blush. And you unfold the other side. And you've got a little bit of mascara, some brushes, and some eyeshadows. Oh, and a little lip liner there too. Oh, very nice. A little bit of everything that you need. What a great find. $1.25. And then it folds all up nice and easy to slip into your purse. So those were the big makeup finds. <laughs> I was really surprised to find those and I did look all of them up and they were all like $6.99 or more for each of those. So very nice find. Now uh, I have used this brand in the past. I absolutely love it for uh, masks. They work very well. This is Freeman's. I picked up two of them. They are small. They're only, let's see, 1.5 ounce. Let's see, where's my glasses? Getting a little fussy down there. Yes, 1.5 ounce. This first one is Clearing Pomegranate Peel Off Face Mask. I really like these. And then the second one is Free Men's Anti-Stress sea salt mud face mask. It's also 1.5 fluid ounce. Now, I really do like this brand for masks. I have used them for years. I really do like them. And then I was so happy to see Bolero came out with some new body wash. Thank you, Lord. I really do like their body wash. Um, for some reason lately, it's been really hard to find. So I picked up the three that I could find, the three different scents. This one is Chamomile and Honey. And these are 6.8 fluid ounces. Then I also found Water Lily and Cucumber. That sounds amazing. And the last one that I picked up is Vanilla Bean and Coconut. That sounds nice and moisturizing. A good one for evening. Vanilla scent tends to make me very relaxed and kind of sleepy. So that would be a good one to use just before I go to bed. And then this is the first time I've seen this too at Dollar Tree. This is Personal Care Insect Repellent, Plant-Based Repellent. Three fluid ounces, D-E-E-T free. So since we're getting into that time, and I like to sit outside, especially at night, when the sun starts going down, I think I might need some of this. Um, sweet meat, they always like me. Now, I did find a couple new uh, readers there. So this one I thought was really pretty. It has kind of a wood finish, kind of pinky wood finish. I thought that was really cute, so I grabbed that. And then I was really surprised they had sunglass readers. So I found one in pink. Very cute. It's another thing I enjoy doing in the summers. I like to sit outside for about 15, 20 minutes and do a little reading and get some sun. So thank goodness now I can still see without having to have a hat block that sun. <laughs> So that was all the health and beauty items that I picked up on this trip. So I did pick up some uh, items over in the kind of crafting section. I have some ribbon and uh, some yarn. I'll start with that. I found this new yarn. It is called Chunky Cotton Yarn. But look at that. I thought that was so cool. I thought, you know what? That would make perfect hair for dolls. Or for gnomes, if you're going to do a girl gnome and you want to do pigtails, how cute. So I picked up this color. It's kind of a rusty red. I thought that was really pretty. And then I also picked it up in brown. And yes, I'm thinking hair colors for gnomes. So I thought those were really cool. So I just grabbed one of each of those. And then 
this ribbon finally came to my store. Um, I have seen other people haul it, but I finally found it. And it is the uh, three inch ribbon that looks like bark. This is like uh, birch tree bark. Very cool. So I grabbed one of those. And then I also found this one, which kind of has the resemblance of a banana leaf. I really like that one as well. And these are 18 feet, so that's pretty good. And then I also found them in this really pretty gold. Okay. You can never tell which way you can see that better, but that's gold. And I found it in silver. Yay. So these will, uh, if I don't use them for crafting, they'll be good for wrapping presents at Christmas time. And then I did find some more small ribbon and I've been waiting for my store to get this in and rick a -rick. not sure if that's what you call it. I really like that for trimming things out and I did find it in three different colors. It's really pretty kind of purple. Also found it in pink and blue. So I grabbed a, a roll of each of those. And then, you know, they had this huge box of Offre, and it was just all different kinds of ribbon. So I picked out a few. This ribbon is pretty thin. I would say it's even smaller than the 7 eighths of an inch. The size. 3 eighths at three yards. Okay, so these are three eighths of an inch at three yards. So this blue has that really pretty white design on it. The pink also has the same white design and then the blue with the white stars on it. But I really liked those. I thought they were so pretty. And then I also found these two with daisies on them. This one says hello spring and then the other one is just a yellow with white daisies. I thought those were so pretty. And then these two I thought would be good for fall. Kind of give me that rustic brown blue. Very pretty. Really, really nice. So I grabbed one of each of those. The new ribbon that I hadn't seen at Dollar Tree in the past. I did pick up a couple items over in the candle section. Now this first one they've had for uh, quite some time, but I had an idea to do a craft with it. Unfortunately, it got a little boo-boo on the ride home, but I think that's going to be okay. Um, I do have a craft in mind for this. So I grabbed one of those, and then I also picked up one of these, the glass uh, trivets here for your candle. I have a craft in mind for both of these together. So hopefully it will come out first time. I'm going to try it, but we'll see. And then over in the same section, but actually I think these are supposed to be over in the wedding. I found this really pretty little two um, swans having the little heart there. Again, if you're having a wedding, these would be really beautiful to put on your table. Very, very pretty. And for $1.25, that's great. So this is the second thing that I've seen in swans uh, for wedding. Very pretty. Okay, so I did go over into the stationery section, and I did find uh, some really cool items over there. This first one, I was so happy that I found it. It is absolutely adorable. Look at that. Look how cute absolutely adorable and then they also had matching that a list pad so you have your little journal and your little list pad absolutely gorgeous they had several other puppy designs to choose from but look inside the journal you got all the little polka dots just like it's on the outside and then here on the little list on the bottom here it says glam girl like it does on the front. They were so cute. You know, 
I don't ever remember seeing or having anything this adorable for me when I was a little girl. I think that's why I'm so um, <laughs> enthralled and fascinated every time I find them. So I did pick that up for me. And then I also found some really interesting stickers. And these I really like because they're clear on the background, so you can make a lot of different things with it. This one I thought was really beautiful. It is a dream catcher. And then kind of to go along with that, I found this one, which are feathers. Absolutely beautifully done. They almost look like they're tapestry. I did grab two of this one. I thought they were so pretty. I thought you could do a really fun craft using those. That was a nice find. And then uh, I found some more of the rub-on transfers. And I believe I already have this one that has the love on it. Very interesting. Lots of detail on there. And then this one I don't think I have. This one has lots of smaller, uh, more individual rub-ons. I don't remember seeing this one in the past. So it was nice to find it. But yeah, I love these things. I have tried them in the past and I really do like them. They go on very easily. They're very clean, beautiful, beautiful to work with. Now, I also found these and very unique. They are also rub-on transfers and they look like faux wood. So this is the first one. It gives you that kind of gray planked look. And then they have this one, which looks like dark mahogany wood. And then I also found this one, which is like a white washed wood. But you actually, it is a rub on transfer, which I thought was really kind of fascinating that they weren't like a sticker type. And then I also found these three rub on transfers, and I thought they were very pretty, especially this first one. That beautiful blue again. And then I found this one, which is really cute. Little bicycles and birds and hearts. Really adorable for spring. Lots of lovely things on there to choose from. And then the last one I found is this one. It has little doggies, little fire hydrant, doggy house. All those really cute little things. really do like those. Nice new finds at the Dollar Tree. A couple other items that I found in the stationery or office section. Uh, this is new. It is a label maker. I haven't seen one like this in a long time. Now I have found this in several of my stores, but I haven't found any of the tape that goes with these to print out your labels. So I don't know if it comes with tape in there or not. It doesn't look like it does, but hopefully uh, they will get in the tape that goes with these. But still, I thought that was a nice find. And then I also picked up one of these. It is a stapler set, and I picked it up because it is the hot pink, and it'll go perfect in my craft room. I don't have a stapler in my craft room, so um, I'm always thrilled when I can find things that I need in there that are the right color. So I grabbed one of those and then they got in some more new scissors. So I did pick a couple of these up. Um, Jody's craft room, she buys these all the time. She says they're really good and she loves them. So I bought a couple and they are the designer scissors made by Jot. So they have that really pretty pattern there on the blade. So they had several to choose from, but I only picked two my two favorite of course i had to get the pink one and then this one i just thought was so beautiful the blue so i tend to ruin my scissors because i cut things i'm not supposed to with them so um i saw these i thought they were cute I buy them stick them in my stock so when i ruin the ones i'm working on right now i have a replacement <laughs> now this is the first time i have seen anything like this and this is all they had. They had, um, no, I take that back. They did have a couple magnets and this sign. And this is the only one they had. Yay, 49ers. 
I looked, they didn't have any Raiders, nothing like that. They had this one sign for Go 49ers. Um, and like I said, they had a couple magnets that were um, the helmet. And that's all I saw. But I did grab this. I figure uh, I'm in this area. Everybody loves sports. So I figure I'll grab one. Maybe I'll make a wreath out of it. But I was hoping that they'd have a little bit more than just a sign. And maybe they'd have Raider stuff too. But I was really happy that they at least had that. That's the first time I've seen that. I've always seen, you know, like footballs or things like that, but nothing very team orientated. So that was a nice find. And uh, in the pet section, I did pick up this one item. It is an LED collar light. So you can hook it onto their um, collar and then you can turn it on if you're going for a walk at night and then it blinks so that people can have a better chance of seeing your dog, especially uh, maybe you're crossing the street or something. You always have those extend leashes and sometimes they're pretty far out in front of you and a driver may see you, but they may not necessarily see your dog. So um, I do take my dog for a walk at night every once in a while. So I thought this might be a good thing to attach to his collar when we go out at night. And then for the same reason for walking at night, I picked up this really pretty lanyard so I can hook my keys onto it and wear it around my neck when I go for my walks. I don't ever like to leave the house unlocked with my dad uh, home alone. So this way I know I have my keys with me. I can lock up when I leave, go for my walk and not worry about trying to carry it or keep it in my pocket. It'll be safe around my neck. Now I also found several uh, interesting and new craft supplies in Crafter Square. So I'm going to share those items with you now. I found these really cute little boxes with small little wood cutouts of all different shapes. I've got a crown, a cloud, butterfly, bird, flower, mushroom, leaf, heart, and owl in this one. I even like the little box that it comes in. I could definitely use that in a project. So I did grab like two of these. And then the other one that I found has an anchor, a car, a bicycle, sunglasses, a little word um, circle, and a little house it looks like, music notes, star, and what looks like a camera. So I thought those were really nice, very interesting. So I did grab a couple of those for my stash. And then this is also another new item that I have not seen in the past. They are called fabric strips. It is one inch by 36 inches in length. And they come in a little package like this. This one looks like it's probably Easter because it looks like a bunny. So let me open it. Okay, so it comes in a little wad like that. Let's see if I can find the end here. Oh yeah, okay. So you get a bunch of strips, and it looks like there are several different patterns in there. How oh, cute. Expand that out a little bit so you can see them. You have several different patterns in there, and that's nice and long. Yeah, this would be nice for some trim, or you could even use this to make um, fabric bows and stuff with. I thought that was really interesting, so I found that one. And then this one looked like it was different. It's a little bit more pink in the fabric. Let's open this one. Yeah, so this has some polka dots, some mushrooms, some florals. Lots of different patterns going on in there. I thought that was really cool. I've never seen anything like this at the Dollar Tree. I grabbed one of each of the ones that looked different. I have to figure out how to use those. And then I found these and I thought they were really cute. Uh, I like the shape mainly. So they had this one with the dry erase board and then they also had it with the chalkboard. But you know, that kind of reminds me of uh, a honeycomb. So I grabbed one of each of those. And then I found this apple. I thought it was, and it is a chalkboard. 
This is the only one that I saw in there, so I don't know if they have a different finishes, if they have a plain one. But I thought that was really cute. I really do like apples, especially in the fall. And let's see, I found this. this is a new wood cutout, a paw print. I thought this would be really cute to do. Paint up and make it really cute. If you have a Cricut, you can uh, put some words and stuff on that and make your own little sign. Where are we? And if you're a coffee lover, they also have this one. Cute little wood coffee cup. Now they have this one in uh, chalkboard paint as well. But I just decided I wanted to go with the plain one. And then this one, they only had one in the store. And I have not seen it anyplace else. But it is Crafter Square. And it is just called a wood hanging decor. And I thought that was really cool. It's been stained wood slatted. Now it's not that big. I'd say maybe five inches, maybe six at the most, but I'd say closer to five. But I thought that was really interesting. I'm thinking uh, when I look at it, I see something Christmassy. And then I was really happy to find these. I've been looking for a while and then I finally found them in my store. And these are some of the galvanized items. Look at that, the little rooster. I was so happy to find that one. And then of course I found the cow. And the pig. I think these are so cute. I really like the shapes. And I really like the fact that they're simplistic. So I was happy to find those. I grabbed one of the each of those. And then this I was also happy to find. I'm thinking fall for this, a nice big pear. I don't know, I always think of fruits, dried fruits, or um, pears and apples and citrus and stuff for fall. That always gives me that feeling. Another new item I found over in the Crafter Square section that I'm so happy it finally made it to my store are the little wood dice, and you get three in a package. Now these are much smaller than um, the like foam dice that you've seen, but these are perfect. And I was really happy to find these because you can make so many homemade games with these. Um, so I did pick up a couple packages. I do have um, one game in mind for Valentine's Day. So um, I will definitely be doing something around that time with those. Uh, I also found, <laughs> these items which are brand new and i thought these are really interesting again i'm getting the very fall vibe off of these and they are wood pearl roses but very rustic now of course you can um, paint these or probably stain them soak them in stain if you wanted to change the color i did pick up a couple packages of those but i thought they were really interesting and unique something different that you don't normally find at Dollar Tree. Now I have to say I did try Dollar Tree's Crafter Square large glue sticks. Now you get five and these are good size. And I love this glue. It works very well. I don't have any issues with it. I like it as much as I like the smaller glue sticks that you can get at Dollar Tree. In fact, you know, I think I might like these better these didn't seem to have as much glue strings on them uh, as the smaller glue sticks do when I use them. But I really do like this and it works in my Sherbonder glue gun very well. So I was really happy. I picked up another couple packages of those. And then I grabbed some of these. These are just the galvanized metal tags. I have a test project that I want to do. And um, I needed some packages of these to be able to test out the different ways to see how they react. So I did pick up two packages of that. That is a video that I am working on. It'll take me a while because I need to see how everything's going to react. But that's what those are for. And then I also found this. This is permanent writable white sticker from Crafter Square. And it is the small one. Let's see. Put the glasses on. 5.5 inches at 48 inches. 
So yes, you can cut this out and then you can write on it with a pen and it is supposed to be permanent after that. I thought that was interesting. I have not seen that before, so I grabbed one of those. Well, I hope you enjoyed that huge haul. I had so much fun going through the store. It's always nice when I can find a little bit here and a little bit there. It's like a surprise around every corner. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed the haul, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.